So far, so good, with my scrap bin crossbow. But now comes the difficult bit. Now it's often said that one of the great merits of a crossbow, as compared to say an English longbow, is the crossbow's relative ease of use. And it's true, you could master a crossbow far sooner than you could master a heavy yew warbow. But when it comes to comparing the making of these two iconic weapons, there is no doubt that the longbow, the English warbow, is far far easier to make than a crossbow. You see, I tend to think that making a self longbow as something of an art form, taking a variable material and making from it a reliable, consistent, powerful product. But making a crossbow is a lot different. It calls upon new skills, engineering skills, and that's the stage I'm at now. And it's all new to me. You see the tools and the skills that I've used so far to make the prod and its string and the tiller are all very very similar to those that I'd use when making a longbow. But now comes something completely new. Now you'll perhaps remember this, it's my first ever crossbow and this one worked by releasing the string by means of a push peg here. But this, my second crossbow, will have a rather more sophisticated way of holding the string and releasing it. This one will use one of these. It's called a roll nut and it retains the string and holds it against a trigger lever until released. You can see it sketched on the side of the tiller here. Now the roller nut is traditionally made from bone or antler. I've got neither, so I'll be using this, a synthetic material called Delrin. So this is the first roll nut that I've ever made and it represents the very heart of this design of crossbow. I'm going to show you how I made this prototype using this, a new blank of 25mm diameter Delrin. So this is the basic design of the roll nut. This is the spindle hole around which it all revolves. In this cup is caught the string when the bow is braced. The tickler is resting on this ledge here preventing the nut from rolling anti-clockwise because of the force applied by the drawn bowstring. When the tickler lever is released, going in that direction, the nut rolls forward, allowing the string to be released. Firstly, I have to drill two holes, one for the spindle and the other from which I'll make the bowstring groove. So this is the final roll nut, this is the prototype, this is the one that I will use on my new crossbow.
This part of the roll nut is subject to great wear from the tickler. So inside the roll nut I'm going to insert a tiny little sliver of a broken hacksaw blade to prevent that wear. This will be glued into place using epoxy adhesive. So that's the roll nut completed. Now I have to start work again on the tiller and make sockets and inlets for the roll nut and the tickler. First, the roll nut. So that's the roll nut and its socket inserted into the tiller. More work to do on that, but now I can start work making the cut here in which to put the tickler. work done on my scrap bin crossbow. More progress next time. We'll see you then. <laughs>